what's up everybody welcome back here on the channel today is hot wheels time and we are gonna do an unboxing and i'll show you what i think are the highlights of the 2024 jk's so uh yeah let's get started first one is this guy here the 1970 dodge charger of course it's the tuned version and uh you know um I'm a huge fan of these uh, tuned models. I think they um, do look pretty cool. You know, um, they've done the Volkswagen Golf and the Supra. And uh, I think we've seen the Mazda RX-3 in the last case. And yeah, they do look pretty good. It's the second time we see this uh, casting that I really like. This guy here was the first version, as you can see. First one, plain glossy black. Our new version comes with a stripe on the back, which is, uh, yeah, cool. So yeah, I really like these. Let's put this guy into the parking lot and let's go on with a new casting. I know not everyone is fan of fantasy castings, but um, I think this one is pretty cool. The birthday burner, you know, looks like a piece of cake. So uh, here we go. Guess you know the donut drifter, but um, yeah, this is also a pretty cool version. The driver's helmet here on top of our cake. This is kind of cool. Yeah, looks really good. I really like this one. Nice new casting, uh, metal base, by the way. Top is uh, plastic for sure. So our next one is the DeLorean Alpha 5. I think it's the second color. The first one here was in uh, white. And now we see it in this uh, kind of, uh, I don't know how you call this, like copper or something. But this is a really, really nice color. So this looks extremely good in my opinion. Very, very nice uh, color on a Hot Wheels mainline model. You know, sometimes um, I mix this DeLorean up with the um, Lucid Air when it's in its packaging. I mean, when you see them next to each other, you can't mix them up, but, um, you know, in the packaging sometimes, especially the front, uh, it's pretty similar. Anyways, this is a uh, really nice color into the parking lot. It goes. Our next one, you, livery for the 1995 Mazda RX-7. You see many, many versions of this casting. I really like it. One of the highlights uh, was the uh, version in the Falcon livery, in my opinion. I've shown in one of my videos. This one, as you can see, comes with some no focus. Pretty nice uh, details on the back. And some deco on the side. Project, I don't know what is that? M? No. Sorry for that. Don't know what that is. Project something. Yeah, I think uh, nothing to be too excited about. But um, yeah, not too bad. Then, recolor for the Mad Mike Drift Attack. We've seen it in uh, white, in gray, and uh, this is a flat gray. And now there's a version in uh, yeah flat blue, which also looks pretty cool. mismatched wheels as you can see 
Nice. Next one is the Pagani Zonda R. Now in yellow. I think this is the fourth uh, version. Um, right, I think we've seen it in white, in a black, and recently in a red. I do have the white version, but um, uh, to be honest, I can't find it. But um, yeah, nice casting. I don't know, I think. Um, Yellow is not the best version of this casting. Red one was pretty cool. I also do like the black one. Let's go on with um, another new casting. Also kind of a yeah fantasy casting. But I think this is also pretty nicely done. It's called Mailed It. And uh, yeah, kind of a... Delivery when in a dragster version or something with a dog on the side. Always on time. That's the top. Some graffiti style deco. That looks good. The wheelie bar on the back. It's post engine. Yeah, I mean, it's a, uh, you know, fantasy casting, but um, really like the deco on this one. Into the parking lot as we take a look at the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. Uh, I think it's the third version. And this one looks really nice, also in kind of a, yeah, what's that, copper... Yeah, something copper-like, whatever you call that color. But it looks really good, in my opinion. And this one with the real riders would be the super in this case. It would be a really cool super if you find it. Let's crack this guy. Open. It's with a spare tire in the back. Some deco on the side. White wheels. Some pretty crisp details on the front. It's a really nice version, in my opinion. Into the parking lot. And the um, last new casting for today is this guy here, the 1966 Triumph Tiger 100. Um, I'm not too much into motorcycles, but... Um, this thing is really cool because, uh, you know, comes with a person on the bike and uh, take a look at this. Uh, this is really cool. I mean, um, as you can see, the boots of our cyclists here are um, part of the casting. And then we got this plastic guy and, you know, he has also Triumph logo on his jacket that is really cool windshield and uh, 79 here on the side this is really nice in my opinion unfortunately <clears throat> so like this can't stand on its own but um, this is really nice in my opinion i mean some uh, headlight details would have been cool but i mean this guy has a lot of details here on the side and also on his jacket. So, yeah, this is really, really nice. And then, uh, you know, I'm trying to collect all treasure hunts this year. And this is the treasure hunt of the JKs, the Honda Super Cup Custom. There we go. As you can see, here on the box on the back, our Flame, the Treasure Hunt logo. Uh, this one, yeah, it can't stand on its 
on, yeah, not on my turntable, but um, yeah. Oops. There we go. And uh, we still have one more left. Uh, this is uh, this is a treasure hunt I was missing. Uh, what is it from the H case, I think. Uh, Purple Passion. Let's crack this one open. This is also pretty nice from the Art Car series. It's interesting color, like a flat metallic blue. And uh, yeah, a lot of livery on it. The wheels in the back nearly completely covered from the body. This is really nice. Pretty nice treasure hunt. So let's put our turntable to the side and uh, yeah, let's take a look at our models. As always, I'm trying to pick a favorite and uh, yeah, I mean, this is not the best case of all times. Um, well, I would say it's a guy here with his uh, motorcycle. This is Pretty nicely done, in my opinion. I love that the boots are part of the casting, and uh, yeah, the rest of his body is the plastic part. Kind of a neat idea, in my opinion. And this looks really good. Wish it could stand on its own, but uh, yeah. So there you have it. My personal highlights of the Hot Wheels 2024 J case. Thank you for watching. Happy hunting. See you next time. Bye.